Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to overclock an AMD graphics card. So in one of the last videos, I talked about how to overclock a NVIDIA graphics card using MSI Afterburner. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to be talking about how to overclock AMD cards, so Radon cards, uh, RX 480, RX 580, whatever AMD card you might have using the global Wattman, which is a part of AMD settings. So the first thing we need to do here is just make sure you have the most recent drivers installed. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can find that on the website. It's pretty simple. So all we're going to do is we're going to go down to the start menu and we're going to search AMD settings like that. Uh, you should find something that looks like this. It should pop open fairly quickly. And then we're going to go to gaming up here. All right, now we should see, you can see all my games up here. We're going to click on go global settings. Now this comes up and it says global graphics, but we want to go to global Wattman right over here. Okay, so now it pops up all the different properties of our GPU. Now, if you haven't watched my other video, I will go back and I'll explain what overclocking does and how to safely do it to your GPU. So you might hear instances of people blowing up their GPUs um, or people completely wrecking them because they didn't know how to overclock and they did it improperly. So just follow these instructions and you should be fine. So you should see something that says the core clock, uh, which is right here, the memory clock, which is over here, and then your fan control and your, uh, sorry, your heat over here, so your temperature. Now the first thing we always do when we overclock is we crank our power limit all the way up. So see power limit down here, it might look a little different for you, but you just wanna put it all the way up to the max. And then up here, click apply, just like that. Because in order to get the most of our GPU, we need to give it more power. So the more power and the more volts that we send into it, the better performance we can get out of it. Now, the thing to watch here is the card that I have runs really hot. So it'll run on load at like 80C, um, which is extremely hot for graphics cards. So what the killer of graphics card is, is the temperature. So you have to understand what a good temperature is for your graphics card and depending on what it is and depending on the cooling that's on it that's going to be different so maybe just looking up like what is a safe temperature for my graphics card um, or just understanding anything once you get past 80 or 90 celsius is probably too hot um, okay so let's just get into now uh, what the most important factors are so a lot of people think that when you overclock you have to throw this core clock all the way up just as high as it can possibly go that is completely false. So the core clock is the one that I'm using right now, which is orange. Um, all you really have to do is just put it up maybe two, three percent. You don't need to put it up a lot. Um, the thing that we, we're going to have to change here is the memory clock. This is what the uh, really makes a big difference for our graphics card. So we have our core clock. We can just click apply there to set that. And now we can start adjusting the memory clock. So this is where you're going to have to take it... Um, kind of slower and you're gonna have to keep testing uh, and just seeing what is a good temperature because right now I'm idle and I'm running at 63 degrees after pumping my core clock up so you can see that it's running very hot so now we move to the memory clock and I'm just gonna start and we're just gonna move it up maybe 50 at a time so I'll go to 2050 megahertz and then I would test that I would see how the temperature is doing and then I would maybe move it up again so maybe I'll go to 2110 is that looking good? That looks okay. And then we move it up and so on and so forth. Now you'll notice every time you adjust this bar, your temperature should get warmer if you're clicking apply afterwards. So in order to counteract this temperature, we want to change these target numbers. So you see where it says automatic here? We're just going to click on that to set it to manual. And we're going to lower our target down to 75C on this card. Specifically on your card, it'll be different. And then we're going to, or sorry, our max to 75 and our target to 60. So actually, I want to move this back up to 80 because 75 is a little low for my card. And then we'll target at 70. So by doing that now, it's going to try to keep the card a lot cooler, which in result is going to mean that you're going to have a lot louder fan noises. Um, but that's okay because you do want the max performance out of your card. So now I'm going to mess around with the fan settings. So you can leave it on automatic if you want. But on my specific card, the automatic settings keep my card really running really hot. So I want to bump this up maybe about two times what it is right now, just to make sure um, that it's going to stay nice and cool. So I bump those two numbers up now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click apply. Now, you might actually be able to hear my fan revving up on my GPU right now because that's exactly what it's doing. Um, as I've put the minimum fan speed to 2000, it's going to continue to climb higher as it needs to. 
Um, so yeah, now obviously this is going to vary depending on what graphics card you have um, and what year it is, what drivers you're running, all these things are important factors. Just realize that you want to make sure that when you're overclocking you get the max performance with the lowest temperature. So you want to keep your temperature at a safe degree. Um, if you're running an RX 480 like me, a safe temperature for that is anything under 90 degrees. If you're going above 90, you're really kind of pushing the limit um, and you're going to want to readjust your clocks or readjust your fan speed to make sure it doesn't go that high. On other cards, it's probably going to be lower. Um, you just have to kind of look online and see what a good safe speed for your GPU is. So yeah, and then if you go up here, you can monitor your activity here. Uh, you can see your peak, you can see your average and all your clocks, what they're running at. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to overclock your graphics card. It's really not that difficult. Uh, a lot of people make it out to be a huge deal. Obviously, I could probably push this clock more. I can move the frequency up. You can just play around with it and just make sure you're keeping an eye on this temperature. That's the most important part. As long as this temperature is safe, you're safe. And just remember too that these utilities are actually made by the people that design the graphics cards. So obviously, um, they're safe to be using with your graphics card. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in another one.